great thing about being here is that there are lots of opportunities to apply for internships, summer abroad, um, study placements, work placements. I'm here over the summer doing a career development internship at the School of Physics and Astronomy. Then I was working with a supervisor on a project in sort of practical particle physics where I had a detector and was playing with photons. I was in the lab pretty much every day playing with electronics, which I'd never done before, so it was quite exciting. That really helped me because you had these weekly meetings where I had to prepare the material, make a PowerPoint slide, show the results to the group and work, work in a team, which was really a valuable experience. So during my third year, I went for a study abroad program in Singapore at Nanyang Technological University. It was a really unforgettable experience. It was a completely different culture. It gave me a completely new outlook. Also, I benefited a lot academically. Different facilities so I can see people doing science on different sides of the world. I went to UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles. I really liked that I could go and study somewhere as good as Edinburgh or better. I think there's two really good things I got out of it. I think first, trying to go internationally for a year, it's a really chance to kind of parachute yourself in somewhere new and just learn how to adapt to that. Specific to kind of UCLA, I went to a hackathon with a couple thousand people in a basketball stadium trying to kind of build these sort of technology startup ideas, which is something very far out of what I'd ever done before and kind of had that chance to, to meet major technology companies, make a lot of good friends. Edinburgh was really good at encouraging you to think through ideas. So if, if you encounter something that you don't know anything about, then you're always encouraged to go off and learn about it, to ask questions, which will uh, enable you to understand a subject in more detail. My time at Edinburgh has really given me is confidence in, in myself and in the things that I pursue. There's lots of times throughout the degree where you're collaborating with other people, whether it's, it's your supervisor, throughout a master's project or senior honours project or your peers when you're doing group projects and working together in that way is, is something which is really going to stand you in good stead. I helped organise the Physics Peer Mentoring Scheme which helps younger students get to grips with the physics degree programme. I've definitely learnt a lot of time management and organisational skills and teamwork and getting people to do things. It's helped me secure some internships and I think it's really going to help me just fit into a, a working environment later in life. The, the career service highlighted the important things to say and maybe to cut out as well which is not relevant to a particular job application and once you get to the stage where you've heard back from a company they take you through the process of going for job interviews even specifically understanding what a particular company does and the questions that they might ask. There's a pretty wide range of applications that you can go into with a, a physics field. You can go to engineering, computing, more physics, mathematics and many people go to the realm of uh, biology and physics. It's very broad what people go into as well as kind of academia. People will work, I know finance in the city is a very common thing, that sort of ability to take a big complex system, a lot of messy data and kind of pull out meaning from it, pull out predictions from it. So I'm definitely going for a master's but uh, first I would like to get a gap year to work and get some experience. Since I enjoyed my internship uh, on lasers, I would like something like optical engineering. I'm trying to get into a master's for mechatronical engineering, which is essentially mechanical engineering and electrical engineering, uh, combined with some computer science. My physics degree on the face value may not seem like it's uh, related to those. Uh, I learn all the laws of nature. Uh, which govern all of those things, uh, as well as uh, an incredible set of math skills and physical understanding, which are very applicable in those areas. Physics degree gives you the choice of going into a very deep physics field, which is full of high research like particle physics, or being able to branch out into other areas of, of science and engineering. I like to do a doctorate in astrophysics. I'm on the theoretical physics program here at the moment. I like the mathematical side of things, the data analysis side of things but I've always been very interested in space. When I did my master's project, we, I got really involved with the, the other PhD students that, that had the same supervisor as me. I got to take part in the, the group seminars and even present some of my own work to them. That was a really nice way of easing me into what became my PhD studies. So it's just a great place to work and to be inspired.